my LCSs are, uh, I can only find one that'll take cash still. Uh, one of them wants my fingerprints and wants my ID in order to sell or buy. Um, I think it's only a matter of time because they, it, and it's coming from the government. It's What's a, only a matter of time? That um, they have to close down my account. The worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. We're now down 43%. This could be the most serious recession in decades. Protect your retirement with a gold and silver IRA. Learn more at sdbullion.com slash IRA. You can just put it on the uh, scale over there if it weighs at least six. I see 20 in there. I thought you were going to say put it on Yankees tab. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, they're all the same. All right. These I think are great. So I was looking at this and potentially this and this and maybe these. I have to see if I have enough. It's kind of a fun coin. There's yeah. a Pegasus on that one. This one has a um, wedge-tailed eagle. Oh, is that the wedge-tailed eagle? Yeah, that's the wedge-tailed Those are beautiful. I think there's a few more, right, in there? Yeah, if you guys want some, it looks like they've got, he's got a bunch of them here. Okay. For people who had beards, they had a beard, so I got this and came with like a bunch of chemicals. A 705. It's official. It is. <laughs> Are you concerned that our banks could one day, in maybe your lifetime, uh, have a holiday and you won't be able to get your money? Um, yes, and uh, you know, from my discussions with uh, certain bankers, um, they say that the it, it appears that things are moving toward a digital currency, um, not at a very fast rate, but they're moving in that direction. And my question to him was, then, what is there for? What's going to happen to the banks? What's there, there's no need for banks if you're going to have a a countrywide digital currency. You won't need banks. And then you don't need cash. You don't need cash. Don't need banks. So if they get rid of cash, you don't need a bank. Don't need a bank. If it's all digital, you don't need a bank. Yep. And um, they probably will get rid of checking accounts because you're going to do everything with your your uh, digital account with I, the Fed. I think we got about a year before oh, checks are gone. Honestly, I don't think it's going to go there at all. Yeah, because there's too, there's the too much disruption this. to the entire economy and to people's lives. And people, when they find out what is really at stake, uh, they may just wake up. It's not like it is now. And, you know, when your kids coming out of college say, well, oh, I use my card for everything anyway. Uh, it's not like that. It's they can control you. In other words, if you decide that um, you want to buy some ammo, <laughs> just, oh, I'm sorry. You, you want to buy some ammo, man? And they don't have to give you a reason. I, I got a special way of doing that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, In California. One of the lucky ones, yeah. Out of state. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Smart. No, but, you know, it's, they can control everything you do. Yeah. And if you look at this government, which thinks it's all right to weaponize departments in the government against your competition, you know, your chief opponents, um, then they, they you know, that's an important deal, you know, to weaponize your, uh, your, all the departments of the government against your opponents. But it's a very small step to weaponize the government against you and, uh, you and me because mm. we're, we're not opponents to anybody, um, but we're still a threat. Is there anything you can share about what you're going through in the bank? Um, in a general sense? I think the, the problem is the amount of cash that I deposit. And of course, they're, they're charging, and that fee is going up January 1st. Um, I think it's only a matter of time because they, it, and it's coming from the government. It's What's a, only a matter of time? That um, they have to close down my account. And it's, it's just the cash is the problem. Cash has always been the trigger for the IRS. Um, somebody at the IRS, and probably somebody who's not very bright, um, has decided that, well, anybody who's depositing that much cash must be doing something illegal. That's the attitude. And they, 
you well, know, they'll, they'll ask you for it as you're withdrawing <laughs> your own money. They'll ask you what it's yeah, for. Yeah, what are you gonna do? It's like, well, it's my money. You, know? you preach to the choir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, everybody's getting the same thing. You, 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 there's no reason to be a, treated like a criminal when you walk in the bank, and you know, if they they really want to know where I'm getting the cash. They can always come in and look at my receipts. I have receipts for every dime. Yes, I know. Yeah. And, um, you know, they are charging me 25 basis points, and now it's going to 30. Um, but it's... Can you, know, you I, find a different bank, Tim? Oh, well, I, yeah, I've checked with Chase, and i checked with um, Bank of America. They're all the same. All How the about same. a credit union? Well, I'm, I'm talking with the credit union, because I, I do have an account there. Um, I'm going to sit down with them for other reasons. Good. You know, um, but the other thing is, um, and I'll, you know, might as well get the word out now. Um, if you can give me a check, give me a check. <laughs> okay. Wow. For, for people who are local, if you know, give me a check, and you can come back and pick up whatever it is. That's fine. That is it, a sad it, commentary, though, Tim. It is. It is. But it's it's coming from the top. You know, the attitude of every department in the government is coming right from the top. And, uh, you know, they, they think it's all right to weaponize the government against your opponents. I mean, that's fascism. I'm just still going to do a small transaction. Oh, that's not, that's not a problem. I mean, you know, it's a, and we still pay cash when people want cash. If they, and if you're, if you're going to go to the bank and take your accounts out, they're not going to give you a check because you're not going to want a check. You want cash. And if people don't understand if they... If they want to cause a run on the banks, just tell everybody, oh, all the currency in January 1st is going to be all digital. Um, it, it's not going to be boy, announced. Boy, would that cause a run on the banks. It, it, it's not going to be announced. To it'll, yeah, it'll be a big holiday. Oh, so, and how are they going to do this? It'll be a how big they holiday gonna, that they just, okay, and, it'll and, be a cyber what, attack, most likely. Yeah, but what are they going to do about getting all that cash back? Uh, what are they going to do? Oh, and, you offer a dollar ten for every what, dollar. What do you do if... Uh, you're the only country in the world that has a digital currency. What do you do then? Uh, does that mean you don't travel anywhere? Europe has been pushing a digital currency for a long time. Um, but, you know, people are starting to think, well, that's not really very good. You know, a lot of things, a lot of systems won't work, period, without cash. All right, so let's say uh, you run a laundromat and you still take quarters. Um, so you had to convert over all the machines. Is the government going to pay for that? They're not going to pay for that. Um, Central bank digital currency came up the uh, fourth and final Republican debate that nobody watched because Trump wasn't there. Um, and they asked him about, as Ron DeSantis, he spoke out against it. I think they know it's already happening and that it's going to happen behind the scenes without their congressional control mm -hmm. or presidential control. Do you agree with that? Unfortunately, I do. So... Um, I think I think there's a couple things that could happen. One is I'm starting to see banks are charging money to deposit. So as you go to deposit cash, it's becoming more expensive, and I could see them starting to charge you to take cash out. It's not very practical. And uh, sooner or later, somebody in the government will say, "Well, if we do this, what happens to this?" And, you know, because they don't consider the ramifications of any of their decisions now. That's, uh, that's what it means to be a, a congressman. You don't have to think about anything. You just do what you're told. Um, but there are people who are considering um, you know, the, all the bad things that are going to happen with the digital currency. My, my, my LCSs are, uh, I can only find one that will take cash still. Um, all the rest of them want to take checks or give you a check. Uh, one of them wants my fingerprints and wants my ID in order to sell or buy. And um, so they're really trying to start tracking transactions and understanding, you know, what you're doing. That's not good. Well, hopefully they um, insult and annoy enough people that people <laughs> might wake up and not allow it. It's a, it's a very bad idea. And, and fraud is just the, the least of their problems because yeah. the government hasn't been able to stop fraud Yep. Um, anywhere, anytime. <clears throat> but it is, I don't, I don't think it'll ever work. It. I don't think there's any stopping it, Tim. Well, there may not be any stopping, but it's going to be a disaster after agree? it takes place. I 100% agree. You, you don't think it's going to stop? I do not think it's going to stop. Why? Why? Um, Why? Because I think there's powers that are in control above our government from outside of our government 
who, example, whether it's Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter. World Economic Forum, New World Order, uh, World Health Organization, there's people up there that are looking to run it, and, they, and they're on both sides. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's a left or a right anymore. At this no, point. and it's going to come in behind the scenes, whether we realize it or not. We're all going to have an entry on the Federal Reserve's ledger, Tim, mm -hmm. if we don't already right now. I think it's already been established. That's, I mean, I, don't, I can't prove that, but... You know, from what I personally see out there, and I mean, I'm just a guy that works and, and you know, gets up every day. And, you know, there is this thought process that we're all somehow getting rich and we're all somehow avoiding and invading and not paying taxes. We, the citizens, are paying our taxes. The returns are harder. They're more complicated. And even, you know, and, and let's say in a hypothetical, let's say Republicans win this time. It'll just simply slow it down maybe by a little. And uh, but it's happening it, now. You know, it and so it, it's it's, you know. It, the banks are changing how they charge fees. I happen to bank mm -hmm. at TD Bank. Good luck getting cash. If you're doing anything over six hundred dollars, you have to fill out a form. And if you're asking to get get out more than fifteen hundred dollars, they're having you fill out a form. Yeah, TD Bank is a mess. I I don't like that Canadian bank. I really don't. The the six hundred dollar rule, that thing's crazy. So the fact that they're they're tracking every transaction or all the transactions we do once we hit six over six hundred bucks with a person, not good. And then you know when it's I do think the digital currency is coming, and I think it's going to happen. Um, I do we too. Don't expect it, and I think I it's agree. going to be something that we, that most people will accept when it comes out because they're going to have. I agree to, with that too. Or they're not going to be able to transact. Most people don't have any of this shiny stuff to barter with, and most people don't have any extra food laying around the house or water, to you know, kind of establish themselves. They're going to have to just go with whatever's the, the system it, it use. Are you going to take a CBDC, Tim? No. No, I'm going to retire. Most likely it's going to come in a couple forms. One is we're going to have some kind of a disaster um, economically where people need um, a stimulus. And there's going to be language that says, hey, the only way we're paying out stimulus is through this currency. you got to download this app. Um, it'll all be running through FedNow. And once you download it, you put all of your KYC stuff in with your, with your license. It authenticates you. Um, and then more, more likely what's going to happen is you'll get your deposit instantaneously. Um, my guess is after that, they'll, they'll start talking about like they do with um, when they take uh, weapons in for cash. They'll probably say, we'll give you a dollar ten, a dollar fifteen per dollar that you deposit into the bank. Yep. Um, and you'll get a bunch more money for it. Um, but we all know they're going to inflate the money. And so it won't make any difference. It won't. It won't. <laughs> and so to, to, you know, to the point buying all this silver stuff and gold is going to be something that helps you avoid this, but you have to have a community. You've got to have people you can barter with and trade with. Um, and you've got to have ways of being able to transact. And you don't want to delay because at some no. point this will be unobtainium. This government doesn't care what they don't care what you think. They don't care what I think because we're just those MAGA Republicans, you know, they're people, people to dump on. And, um, Without cash, uh, people are just not going to survive, and they're they're going to realize that right away. Um, there, there's yeah. some truth to what he's saying. Yeah. It, the survival is going to be a big problem. But I, I think so too. And the other the other issue that can happen too is they could start paying Social Security and the the CBDC. And if they do that, the biggest problem is going to be people that are taking people that are taking Social Security don't want cryptos. They're not using them today. They have phones, but they may not know how to even use that. They may not even be doing digital banking. My 91-year-old dad doesn't know how to use a phone. So, so there's no way he's going to be touching this stuff. So how does he get his Social Security payment if they go that route? That's something I could see being a big issue. There are issues. So, yeah, I, look, I'm, I'm in technology. I'm in software. Um, I, I hear things that are going on. I can't say anything more than that. But um, what I'll tell you is that technology is in place. Um, technology is being created. So for a retail central bank digital currency. Yeah, to what oh. Tim's saying, it's really going to come down to, um, you know, is it sprung upon us or is it something that becomes an appetite where people people basically call for it? Okay, but the, the people who are considering this are stupid people, okay? Let me give you an example. Um, you go to a restaurant and you order a beef dinner. Well, that we, you can't have beef. We uh, put a, a moratorium on beef because it, it causes pollution. 
Okay. <laughs> I'll take the or, fake beef, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, Plant-based I mean, plant beef. I know, no, you're is right. The, this is the no. way it's going. No. We had this idiot go over to some sir, seminar. I won't mention any names. Uh, flying <laughs> in his private jet over there. Okay. Uh, that we are going to ban all coal plants. Well, mm. let's say... Um, it's getting cold in your house. You want to know why? Well, your electricity comes from a coal plant. They just shut that down. I mean, it's everything. Okay, uh, they'll tell you. They'll tell you what you can eat. They'll tell you what you how you can spend your money. If you um, you go to buy an AR-15 in a gun shop, they're going to say, well, according to the ATF, you already have too many guns because that's being tracked. And, and people say, well, you know that. The worst thing they can do is come up with a, a gun registration. Well, they have a gun registration. Every time you go to the ATF, they got all that information. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, they'll decide how many guns you're going to have. They'll decide how much ammo you can buy. They'll decide what you can eat and what you can't eat. They'll have your medical profile, okay? At your last doctor's visit, you were a little overweight. So we can give you the coffee, sir, but we can't give you the donut. Um, it, it, people don't realize this is what's going on in China. And if you want China here, that's a, the, agree to this, because this is going on in China today. It first makes a stop in um, California. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm trying to hang on as long as I can, guys. It's a beautiful place where I live, and it's my home. But well, beauty in everything, man. My, you better be careful. All but right? my kids my kids graduate soon, and we'll be reconsidering, and we'll try to figure out what we're going to do long Well, term. listen, Tom Steyer convinced the uh, California legislature to put in place a carbon credit system. Yes. Okay, now, are they using it yet? Well, no, but you better not uh, buy anything but an electric car by uh, 20, what is it, 20, 2030 or something? Yeah, I think it's 2030. Uh, don't, don't waste your money on a gas car because they're going to be outlawed. Um, it, you know, it's, <laughs> it, this, this carbon credit system is the worst idea ever, okay? That'll turn uh, climate billionaires into trillionaires, literally, mm. because uh, in, in this, this state, New Hampshire, we're really vulnerable. Um, you know, you have a carbon credit based on you use uh, home heating oil, for example. And um, some people don't have home heating oil. They have propane. Same deal. Do you heat your house? I do heat my house. My house runs cooler. So where I live, I'm pretty close to the ocean. So we don't run the air conditioning very often. Um, but in the summertime when we do, yeah. uh, my bill has gone up 3x. So mm -hmm. I'm now over $500 a month for my electric bill. In SoCal. In SoCal, and it was $125 a month. Sorry, it was $200 in the summertime back in 2019, and it's jumped that high just in a very short period of time. Well, here's the way things are going to go. Your carbon footprint is based on what you use to heat your home. It's based on well, if you have a, I have a wood furnace. I put logs in there. That pollutes the atmosphere. Uh, so my carbon credit is uh, carbon um, footprint is probably very high. Uh, but I noticed in the meeting between Zelensky and the president, he had a roaring fire in the background. <laughs> and, you know, and that's, that's got to be polluting the atmosphere in Washington. He's exactly. calling out the White House. And did no. you notice that fire? Yeah, I it did. Was it was a huge. roaring blaze. <laughs> if that, if that oh. was my house, um, they'd probably be charging me for those carbon credits. Yeah. But understand the people who make these decisions mm. believe the same way that. Um, that Biden does, you know, with a roaring fire will look good on television. You know, make it like a fireside chat I'm having with Mr. Zelensky. I, I look at what's happened in the country in the last three years, and um, I have to explain to my father-in-law that the politicians don't always have the people's best interest in place. And he can't understand that. He can't, can't grasp he that? He can't comprehend it. He has a hard time with it. He's starting to come around a little bit, but he's you know, Man, I went what to a him. generation. Well, wow. it is, and I, I went to him and I said, "Hey, you need to get your money out of out of your bank because it's listed as the next bank to go down." And um, and he said, "Well, I talked to the president. I know the bank president of the bank. It's a large bank. It's okay." He reassures me, "It's okay." And I said, "He doesn't know. <laughs> That's the problem." <laughs> you know, it. if that computer, <laughs> that big Federal Reserve computer, discovers that you have a gambling problem. They're going to shut you off when you're on a winning streak. 
because they can do that. Right. Do you I think places so like Las Vegas are going to agree to a, a digital, a central digital currency? They won't have a choice. I don't think they're going <laughs> to have a choice, so, Tim. So, so they just go out of business. No, they, they don't go play. out of business. They just have to adjust it, to it. You know, you well, got, if, like if you go to MGM. Are, no, listen, they're, they're playing with people's lives in every aspect. Of it. There's, there's nothing that you do on a regular basis that is safe from a, a digital currency. There's, there's got to be yeah, something. We don't disagree, Everybody. Tim. We don't disagree. Uh, it, and why would the people stand for it when they find out how bad it is? Well, well I think it's going to be really ugly when it comes out. It may be. It is. But tough. it may be the next revolution. This, it may be that bad when people realize how much is being taken away from them. Well, I think that's what's going to be different between this country and other countries. We're going to find out real fast, right? The moment that they say you can't have something that you've been accustomed to getting, mm -hmm. I think that's when people are going to start standing up. However, I really, really don't think generationally there's going to be the resistance you think, Tim. There won't be, but sad. keep in mind that it's all about control with these people, and they're a very small portion of the population. It's all about control and nothing else, okay? You know, they, they say, hey, you reached your limit on, on, you know, might as well go home from Las Vegas because you've reached your limit. Or, um, no, you, you, ATF says you have too many guns, you know, you have plenty to right. defend yourself, right. so you can't buy any more guns. Or, you know, you, you, you're a fat guy, so you can't buy any more of those donuts. Tim, did or you ever... You can't, you can't Tim, have that beef sandwich. I mean, it's... Did you ever think that they could do what they did during COVID? The way we uh, reacted as a nation. What surprised me was that anybody would listen to that little worm. I mean, it just, it, it just that really surprises me when... And, you know, Rand Paul was exactly right. And that guy sat there and lied to the, to the American people yep, over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. that, that pretty soon people are going to say, hey, this government is lying to us about everything. Everything. I think he got five confessions out of him that he did not lie. Per, five perjurers right there. That's not good. Um, but, I, Tim, to your point, I think, um, I, I think there is a chance... To turn this around but i don't know if it's going to happen until after it already comes out um, and i think people are going to have to stand up but just like with with covid the other issue that we run into here is um a lot of people I, i'm in california we got locked up first and um one of the things that that happened there is you had a lot of people kind of pushing back um our county's uh sheriff did not uphold all the laws that were going on hmm. so there there was pushback and I think with this, though, there could be pushback. But I think there's also going to be a parallel economy that comes out of um, out of it with precious metals. I think a lot of people right now think the parallel economy is going to be cryptocurrencies. Hmm. And they think that they're going to be able to do that. Hmm. But the reality is, is I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're, no they're going to manipulate it. I think they're going to control it. Mm -hmm. But I, I do think people would, would stand up potentially to it. But it depends on if they're starving and if they have the ability to do it. Well... There are millions of homeless people in this country who survive on handouts. And um, so was the government now going to give them some sort of handout that they can actually use? I mean, oh, here's your EBT card, you know, go buy as much drugs as you can get your hands on. I wouldn't be surprised, Tim. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Right now, a lot of the handouts get turned into into illicit drugs and stuff. So I, I don't know how that's going to work. Well, in San Francisco, they just turned their backs on the drug tra transactions. Happening yeah. everywhere, and they just look the Los other Angeles way. Los Angeles too. Yeah. Oh. Go to a Dodgers game, guys. It's oh. a little, little scary getting there. I just want to say you guys do a great job of of sharing the information, getting it out there to people. There are a lot of people that are kind of fence setters that I think you've woken up. And to your point, Tim, the way that we fight this stuff is by waking more people up. If we had more people awake, they would be really reluctant to even attempt this. Um, and that's the thing. And you're part of that, Tim. You're a big part of that. Yep. Hundreds of thousands of people are watching you and hearing what you're saying, so it matters a lot. Yes, I'll probably have all my accounts shut down pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacksonville oh, there you go. That yeah, looks awesome. Cool. It's kind of funny watching so many Yankee videos. I feel like I already know Tim, but then I forget he doesn't know who I am. <laughs>